guys, it's Miguel again with Cloud Technology, and as you guys can see in front of me, this is our third generation powder machine, and that's what this video is going to be all about. So, um, as you guys can see here, this is the actually the machine, if you have been to one of our trade shows, that you've probably seen, and this is the one that attracts the most attention because it's so large, because it does it, the job automatically, so anybody who has to you know, powder anything or knows about DTF, uh, they know that this gets the job done automatically so that they don't have to hire an extra employee if they don't want to, or if they just have the extra space and want to get jobs, uh, massive jobs done a lot faster, this is going to be the way to do it. So this video is going to be as comprehensive as I can possibly make it. I'm going to give you guys the dimensions of the powder machine, I want to be showing you guys each what each button does. Um, if you guys want to see this machine in person, if you want to see it work in person, you want to see the transfer that it produces, we're actually going to be at the trade show in Denver, Colorado from April 14th to the 15th, um, and that's going to be the Graphics uh, Pro Expo. So if you guys uh, want to know more about that, please look at my last video where I sent out the invitation. So let's get this video started. At its widest, this machine is about 3 feet 8 inches, I would say, at its widest. So that's from the buttons all the way to the other side, three feet, eight inches. At its longest, this machine is about seven feet, I would say two inches. If you want to straighten this out, it's probably seven feet, two inches. It's height, you know, give or take an inch or two. It's about three feet, eight inches, I would say. Okay, so let's get started with what this machine does. The way it works is that a printer would go right here and you would feed the freshly printed transfers into the feeding slot here. Then the paper would go loop down, right down there, and then it would come back up and go through this conveyor belt here. And as it's going, uh, while it loops down there, powder drops onto the paper, powdering the transfer. And uh, these flippers here, uh, as you can see, I'll show you guys right here. These flippers clean off the, the, the transfer paper so that um, no excess powder is left on. And then this is obviously a conveyor dryer so that once the transfer comes out to the other side, it's completed. As you guys can see, there has a take up roller so that you don't even have to be there to collect the transfers. You can have the take up roller take up the transfers. So this whole thing does the entire process on its own. And I'll show you guys each individual component and like how we control it on the, uh, on the control panel over there. Okay guys, so this is the control panel. And this is pretty much how you're gonna be interacting with the machine um, from a, on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't really have to interact with anything else um, besides this control panel, um, other than the paper that feeds onto the other side, whether or not you wanna you know, cut it or leave the, uh, the pickup roller to pick it up, it's, it's really up to you. Here's the control panel. I wanna explain what each one of these buttons does when you press it and when you don't press it, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about is the top spiral. So as you guys can see here, that there's a corkscrew here that moves powder along, right? So you guys can actually manipulate this um, with no uh, fear because there's a safety button here. As long as the cover is up, this will not move. So um, unfortunately, I was unable to make it so that um, this uh, machine was powered on because we don't have the 220 voltage in this room. But um, hopefully, you know, I can explain this a lot better um, than, you know, I would be able to show it at a trade show because you know, at the trade shows, we don't really have much time. So like I said, the top spiral moves this powder along to the left where it can, you know, drop down onto the paper. Now, step auto is basically the conveyor belt moving. So you guys won't be able to see it in this uh, video, but there is a laser that touches the paper once it feeds down and you'll be able to see it. So thankfully these covers are see-through. So once the laser hits the paper, um, it's going to tell the conveyor belt, hey, it's time for you to move and to move the transfers along. And so that way the conveyor belt doesn't move faster than the printer prints, right? Um, otherwise, you know, the conveyor belt will be taking the prints a lot faster um, than the printer can print out and pull on the transfers. And we don't really want that because then the transfers will touch, um, some, they will touch either the printer or the, the powder machine, which will ruin the transfers as they print wet, as you guys know. So step manual is just so that you can move the conveyor belt manually. Um, just in case you feel like um, you'd like to tr uh, feed some more uh, paper on the other side, or when you're setting up the printer and you're putting paper, I mean the powder machine and putting paper through, you can press step manual and basically uh, it'll force the conveyor belt to move even if the laser doesn't read the paper. Powder auto. Uh, powder auto, if you guys have been to the trade shows or have seen the videos of us at the trade shows, basically what happens is that the way that this machine drops powder down 
is that the uh, this plate here vibrates and uh, that forces um, the powder to fall through uh, this little uh, grill here. So there's actually like a little a, a little grill of metal here that uh, the powder will fall through every you know every so many seconds, uh, depending on how you set it on the control panel, and that will just powder the the uh, transfers. Um, powder manual is basically if you feel like there's not enough powder on the transfers, you press this and it'll force this to vibrate uh, no matter what. And you guys can set the volume of the vibration um, so that it vibrates harder or softer um, and that will drop you know more or less powder as you desire. Bottom spiral will uh, basically turn on and off the spiral at the bottom of the, the powdering machine and basically uh, that will bring the powder from the bottom right because this drops powder down this will bring the powder from the bottom all the way across and to the right uh right at that motor so i'm gonna show you guys that in just a second so this is what i mean here so once this top spiral drops the powder down i'm gonna show you guys exactly where it goes down so i'm just gonna move this over with my fingers so you see that there's a metal grill there and the powder drops down there. And let's see, I'll actually try to move some uh, with my fingers. So you guys can see, right? hopefully you'll see some powder fall. Yep, there you go, see? And that's just me, you know, pushing it through with my fingers. And like I said, what will happen is that this uh, vibration plate will vibrate and that'll force the powder to move down onto your transfers. So once the powder goes down, right? You can see that the powder down there is, is going to be stuck down there um, unless you have the spirals turned on, which will move this powder down this way. And it will go up this tube here. And the tube has another spiral that you guys will probably be able to see from this angle here. So it has another spiral and then it feeds to this one. And then the whole process starts over again. So that way, you don't have to bring the power up manually. The machine does it on its own. Next, we have preheat to the preheat button. So preheat basically turns on this plate here. So there's a plate right here, as you guys can see, um, that can heat up as well. Typically, we don't use this because it tends to dry out the transfers as they're coming out of the printer. But it's really up to you. Um, I, we don't use it at the trade shows. We don't use it in our showroom. But if you would like for it to be used, uh, the option is there. Oven dry. Oven dry basically turns on the conveyor dryer. So I'll move up the camera so you guys can see it. So it'll move, it'll basically turn on this conveyor dryer that's right here, uh, that top unit. And you're also able to lift that up. I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. Um, and basically, um, that's basically how you would start off your day is basically turning on the oven dry and letting this heat up before you start printing, just so that you won't come out with uh, undone transfers if you decide to turn this on uh, early on in the morning. Next is the vacuum. So the vacuum is, you know, as it implies, it's a vacuum that pulls down on the paper on the conveyor belt. So um, I'll come over here and I'll show you guys what this looks like. So basically there is a vacuum system right under this conveyor belt that will pull the paper. So when you're first starting to feed it through, the powder which drops onto the transfers won't just pull the paper down and away from the conveyor dryer. As long as you have the vacuum on, the vacuum will be strong enough to hold on to the paper so that you know, you're not able to uh, pull this away and so that it can feed automatically when, once the process begins going. And finally, powder clean. So I'm actually gonna move the camera uh, in just a bit to show you guys what that looks like. The powder clean basically is what turns on the flippers that um, hits the transfer paper. Um, and I'm gonna also show you guys in a moment how to use the, uh, the settings. And I'm gonna also post the settings um, up on the video so you guys can see what setting you should be using just in case you buy this um, powdering machine. So powder clean, what that does is there's a bar here that I'll show you guys in a second that turns. You see, I can move it. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys uh, exactly what it looks like, but basically this turns. And when it turns, uh, it hits, this turns really, really quickly, by the way. So you wanna make sure that your hands are nowhere near this um, when it's on. But basically when this turns, um, it, it 
it uses these flippers to hit the uh, transfer paper and clean off excess powder, which will obviously fall back onto the transfer or down onto the spiral down below. So this is the control panel for the powder machine um, that you know controls the more intricate parts that these buttons don't handle. So for example, the belt speed. The belt speed is how you obviously control the speed of the conveyor belt. Uh, so plus is faster, minus is slower. Uh, vertical spiral is basically how fast this whole assembly moves, the bottom ones and the side ones and the top one. Um, and so if you wanted to bring more powder up, you could obviously move this to the right and it'll bring more powder up, move it to the left and it'll use less, it'll bring less powder across. Uh, powder volume is how, um, how hard the vibration plate vibrates. So if you would like a lot of powder to be dropped every time it vibrates, um, then you can put this towards the plus. And powder timer. So powder timer means that uh, basically how uh, often it vibrates. So this one controls right. how hard it vibrates. So this here we go again. So this vibrates. is the print that we did. So uh, minus it's in the quantity here. Uh, vibrate the white uh, a lot more often because it's white. Like, uh, it's getting rid of time. Now what you know what you're gonna do is how to operate this. So it so drops it's against the printing. Okay. Plus so put it back. Two times and it, it here steady. Two seconds uh, between the vibration. Steady. Um, Oven heat controller. Oven heat controller is basically how you control the heat of the oven here. So, so at the trade shows, we so use that's the maximum that you can bring uh, that's it in. Okay. Then Celsius. Um, be sure that this is the cut and print. Sets of numbers here. So I'm going to show you this. So yeah, the one one yeah. Set okay. Then you we'll do the, the uh, steady in the, the, so the middle. So there's no guesswork here. Right? Seconds. So you know exactly how hot the conveyor dryer is. Once it starts to move, that's the thing. Of course, the preheat controller is basically how much you want to heat. You move a little bit and you will cut it. The panel too. So like I said, that so kind of layer, you can uh, set it to preheat. We typically don't use this because we don't have it turned on in the first place, but if you wanted to use it, um, the option there. there. You can also access um, the motherboard and fuses on one side of the machine. Uh, so basically, you just pull the two little tabs here, All and, pull right. on it, and then you get access to everything. So if you wanted to self-service, this, you could. Um, it gives you access to everything. So it gives this you is the design that they make. The fuses, it gives you access no, to that, the actual motherboard that controls the conveyor uh, cool. dryer and everything else. Look at this. So you get access to all of the electronics here, as you guys can see. It's pretty easy to work with if you know design. how to work with yeah. electronics. So this is a full color design. We also have um, another set of the power outlets. So this is actually a part of the machine, you guys can see. Um, and this is how we so pull it. Right? Take so you can cut that in the machine. middle and powder it. actually a separate part of the machine. Okay. Um, put it there and cut it um, with a scissor. We've seen people, you know, use different um, accessories or even just charge their phone. It's really up to you. Um, this is the That's main this is power the switch the whole for the machine. Thing. So as long machine? as this is turned up, I believe it's turned down. Oh, wow. I do like it. it. should be on, but obviously we don't have to bar there now. But when it's turned up, um, this will be off. And there's two switches here. Um, you'll know that the machine is on when these lights uh, will turn on. There's actually a strip of LEDs. Um, they're going to turn white when the machine is on. So you would just switch those. Uh, I believe this is the on position, but I, I could be wrong. Finally, at the other end of the uh, conveyor dryer, we have these fans here, which can turn on and off to cool down the uh, the transfers that come out through the side. Um, typically, we have this turned off, but if you really wanted to just cut these as soon as possible um, and have these be cooled down, you know, like they're so they're cool to the touch, you could turn these on. Um, what I have seen people say is that it affects the temperature on the inside of the dryer. So if you want it to be more accurate with um, your temperature settings for the inside of the dryer, then maybe it's you know best to just leave this turned off. But it's it's really up to you. Like I said, this this is a more of a personal um, thing. So really, if you want it to be cooler to the touch. Then you can turn these on, but then you might have to turn the oven dryer a little hotter. Finally, if you wanted to lift this whole assembly up, this uh, conveyor dryer up, what you have to do is just get a flat head and just put it through here and twist so that this lifts. Do the same thing on this side, right here and between those little things, put a flat head in there and twist. This will uh, pop up. And then you can just use this handle to lift it up. Now it's going to be a little heavy, so you might need two people, um, but it is possible to just you know go into the conveyor dryer and you know inspect it for yourself if there's any problems, um, or if you just want to uh, mess with the electronics, or if it's giving you uh, if it's blowing any fuses in your electronic systems. Without giving you guys our serial number, um, this machine also weighs 250 kilograms. So just in case you guys are wondering how much it weighs, um, it uses a 20 amp outlet. So make sure that you have 20 amps. Um, and the rate of voltage is 220, so it's AC 220. So you wanna have 220 volts, 20 amps.
So there you have it guys, that's the whole comprehensive video on the powder machine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys really enjoy these technical videos, I really like making them, I really like showing off for machines. Um, if you guys want to know more, please leave a comment down below, I'm pretty sure I'll answer them or you know, somebody in our either our customer service team or our sales support team, they'll answer for you. I try to read every comment, I try to answer uh, every question to the best of my ability. Um, you guys have probably seen that I've already answered a few questions. Um, but yeah, like if you want to see something else, if you want to like have a question about any of the type of printer that we have on our website, um, please leave a comment. I'll make a video about it or I'll just answer the comment. Um, I'll try to make a video about every question that you guys ask me just because, you know, that's how we create content here. But, um, you know, if you have any other questions, like I said, please reach out to us. Please, uh, please, you know, just go on our website. Um, we also have a 24-7 technical support team that's available to you guys. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I hope you guys come to our trade shows. Take it easy.